Hello, my name is Alan Wilson. I'm the electrical instructor at Skill Point. I've been here since October of 2017. In a nutshell, the class that we have running right now at Skill Point is actually a reduced, recently modified class. Historically, individuals use NCCR as a curriculum because it provides a very good basis for new apprentices and people going into the field to learn. The industry leaders asked us to put out apprentices with boots on their feet ready to hit the ground as new apprentices and actually understand those things and how to mechanically twist wires, how to actually install a receptacle and understand how a switch works. Our curriculum covers starting with electrical safety and OSHA 10, the graduates leave with an OSHA 10 card. It, it morphs into hand tools and power tools. That's with a real emphasis on the electrical industry, so our hand tools and our power tools. It then gets right into the meat and potatoes of, of what they're learning. We, we cover some theory, Ohm's Law, uh, Articles 100 and 300 in the code book, so we understand what we're talking about and what we're touching, be it conduit or conductors. And then we go into uh, the conductor and device box section. And then there's a final portion of the program where as a small group, we form a, an ABC electric and an XYZ electric, if you will. And the two teams actually represent companies in the real world and they build a project. Uh, and, and, and we see it through from plan development, through planning phases and, and plan acceptance at the city to their designing, they're making material lists and just utilizing every skill that I could think of that they've learned in the class as a group exercise at the end. And all that, I, I didn't even touch on the fact that from week one, day three, the students begin to touch conduit. A very real and, and big emphasis in this program was hand bending of conduit. Uh, that's a very real skill in our industry. It's important and we believe that it not only makes our graduates more effective and more marketable, but actually worth more money. And so from the first week, day three, they begin bending box offsets and then they're taught how to bend a 90 degree elbow on conduit. And that could be half inch, three quarter, one inch. We then go to 30 and 45 degree offsets and we finalize with a 3.30 degree saddle. Those are the basic bends that somebody would need to learn. There, there are several things that make this a challenging curriculum. Uh, it's not at all undoable. Some of the challenges students will face when they begin this curriculum is perhaps just that they're adult learners. Uh, this is not a high school class. This is an adult learning class. In that environment, many of us come from different backgrounds and we may be 10 years separated from any kind of math. Uh, we may not read on a regular basis just because we don't. It's a, and so coming back to school as an adult is already a difficult thing. But students that are interested in this curriculum probably should understand that it is one of the most technical curriculums that can be offered in a construction environment. Heavy math, heavy reading comprehension, also heavy dexterity and physical capability, mechanical aptitude. All that packaged up, the most difficult part for the students in my course are going to, is going to be that the information is fed at a rapid pace. We call this uh, Get Basic. That's gateway electrical basic training. In other words, it's like a boot camp. So it is extremely fast paced. I am like an employer. It's like coming to work. So every day you're coming to work to learn, that is your job while you're in our course. And it's very, very specific to employability skills. So at every point, things are tied back to what would happen on the job, with whether it's attendance, punctuality, effectiveness, accuracy, attention to detail, the wrong kind of pride where you can't ask questions, to not picking up behind yourself. We'll talk about all those things. And I believe one or, one or more of those things is going to cause people challenges. It is a challenging program. Okay. Sure. If I had to give advice to somebody before they're thinking about committing to this program, and I use the word committing because it is a commitment. It's not just a four-week a four commitment, but really the electrical track at its minimum is a two-year commitment for a residential wireman's license. The real curriculum is geared towards a journeyman electrician license and that's a four-year commitment. So individuals that want to join the program and join the ranks of electricians and become an apprentice electrician, please understand that that is an actual time commitment and it's, there's no place to start it and then stop it. Once you start, you've made a commitment. It's, uh, it's, it needs to be finished.